San Francisco. It's four o'clock and it's Thursday, so it must be Facebook Live. Today we're gonna talk about some studio tools that I use in the studio and some of the things that you may not know about that are kind of fun, kind of cool. So let's jump right in. The first thing I wanna show you today are my fun, really fun wedge tools from the Catalyst Blade people. So I've got a whole bunch of these. Um, I've got the Catalyst Blades that are on the, um, on, a, on a handle, sort of like a, a paintbrush, but I also have the wedges, what they call the wedges, which I think is kind of cute. Um, these are, are really handy if you want to get into painting and make texture and move paint around. They're made from silicone. So the very cool thing is you can see all of mine have tons of paint all over them. They've all been used, they're all well loved. Um, but the nice thing about that is all of the paint will just peel right off. So they're made out of silicone, so that's really great. Super helpful. Then they also make these little mini blades, which are also really cool if you have smaller things that you wanna do. And again, these are all made out of silicone, so you can just literally just peel the paint right off. It'll come right off. Of course, I never do that, so you know I'm a bad housekeeper. Um, but I really love them. I think they're great. The other thing they're good for, if you take some of these larger catalyst blades, these are really great for digging into jars of paint, for spreading gels around, and for getting down into the bottom of, you know, like a paint jar or a gallon uh, thing of gel or something that you can't quite get down in there. These guys are great because they have the long handles. I love those. All right. Next on the hip parade, I want to show you these fabulous brushes. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are acting up. I want to show you these fabulous brushes from Royal Lang Nickel. These guys are out of the UK, I believe, and they are fabulous, fabulous brushes. I love them. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? <laughs> I love these brushes and um, I've been using them for a number of years, but I just picked up a whole bunch of them at the Seattle, um, uh, what was I, what was I doing? The Co College Art Association in Seattle recently up in, I think it was March or something. I was up there with the Golden Gang and um, the, one of the vendors, the Royal Langnickel guy was there. And these are awesome brushes. Now I want to tell you, most of the stuff that I'm talking about today, you can find on my Amazon influencer page. So if you just go over to amazon.com forward slash shop, then forward slash acrylic diva, you'll find my list of stuff that I recommended products. Now, as you guys know, those are affiliate links. So what that means is Amazon gives me a couple pennies if you guys purchase something through that link. You don't pay any, the, the price you pay is no different. So I just want you to know that. I always like to disclose that so that you know. And the other thing I wanna tell you is, I'm never going to point you to something that I haven't used myself, okay? The other brushes, if you've been around me for any length of time, you know that I love the Robert Simmons Signet brushes. Can you guys see that? It's Robert Simmons Signet. And also, while I'm at it, let me just hold one of these Royal Langenickel brushes up there. Look at that baby. Isn't that yummy? Um, okay, Royal Langenickel. Now, the um, Robert Simmons, I've been using these guys since I was in college. And in fact, I had, I won't tell you how long that was, <laughs> how long ago that was, okay? It was more than three years. Hmm. Um, but anyway, the Robert Simmons Signet brushes, uh, the reason I love them so much is for the same reason I, I like the Royal Langenickel. They're tough, they're professional grade brushes. They will take a beating. You take good care of your brushes. You guys take good care of your brushes and they will serve you well and they will last a long time. I have brushes that are 20 years old. I have brushes that are older than you, <laughs> okay? So take good care of your brushes. And if you wanna know all about cleaning your brushes and stuff like that, go to my blog over at acrylicdiva.com and there's a really funny um, kind of blog post over there about how to clean your brushes. 
You be good to them. All right. Um, so these, the, the neat thing about these, um, these markers, these pigment liners, is that they come in a lot of different sizes, they will not bleed, and they're archival pigmented ink. What that means is, unlike a Sharpie pen, which will fade in about two weeks, you know, try this sometime. I used to leave a note for the mailman on my front door written in Sharpie pen, and it's gone in like two days. So definitely don't use Sharpie pen in your artwork because it will fade right away. These guys won't. The Stadler um, pigmented liner, it's on the Amazon influencer page, will not fade, okay? And they come in a nice set. You can get a bunch of different sizes. They're um, acid free, they're really good stuff, okay? So I've been using those for a long time. Um, the other one I like is the Pigma Graphic. Will somebody tell me if that's backwards or can you guys see that? Because I did not turn the camera around. I can do that. If you can't see it, let me know. I may be able to do that. Who knows? Um, anyway, the Pigma, the Pigma pen is very much like the Stadler pigment liner. These are also uh, uh, archival. They don't bleed. They will not fade. And these are made by Sakura, S-A-K-U-R-A. They're also in the influencer page, okay? All right, super duper, moving on. Now here's a couple of things. I'm gonna get all of my catalyst blades out of the way. Here's a couple of things that you may not have heard of. And you, I don't want you thinking I'm crazy. Well, I am, but that's beside the point, right? Um, what I want you to, to hear from me, before I show you the silly things or the good things, um, let's talk about palette knives. You see these plastic palette knives? These are Jack Richeson palette knives. I believe they're Jack Rich Richeson. They're also on the influencer page. Um, and there's a difference between these kind of palette knives. Take a look at that. See that? They're kind of translucency, translucent a little bit. They're not completely opaque white. Um, and the reason for that is the ones that are completely opaque white will not clean very well. The acrylic tends to stick to them. So when you're looking for palette knives, make sure you get the ones that are slightly translucent plastic, never metal. Why don't we use metal um, palette knives in acrylic painting, y'all? Anybody? Could it have to do with water? Yes. Um, metal palette knives, when you're working with acrylic paint and water, will rust. Duh, right? So I stay away from metal palette knives. I use the plastic ones and I use a ton of them. And the nice thing about these guys is you can just clean them, wash them, soak them in hot water, the paint comes right off. But make sure you get the ones that are a little bit translucent, okay? The ones that are absolutely solid white will not clean as well, okay?